thoughts are so, so powerful. And you entertain to the tune of 60,000 thoughts per day. Now, many of those, most of those thoughts really fly under the radar, meaning they are unconscious. You're not aware that you're thinking them, but nonetheless, those thoughts are going out into the universe as frequency, and they are manifesting the reality that you are experiencing at this very moment. So when we start to get tired, we start to get fatigued, we're in our like mental body all day long, meaning that we're just in our head, we're focused or consumed with our thoughts. A lot of those thoughts are coming up based on conditioning, programming, limiting beliefs. And we make a choice, mainly, again, unconsciously to entertain these thoughts or to allow these thoughts to persist. And when we make that choice, we really let go of being able to have conscious control over how our life is going. We get pulled out of the flow and we get pulled into an identity that is manifesting these thoughts and these thoughts are based on, again, limiting beliefs, on traumas, and things of that nature. So when we entertain that, we make that choice to actually become that aspect of us and live as though we believe these thoughts and though these thoughts are real, we tend to, to manifest those types of situations or scenarios in our reality that actually reaffirm those thoughts that we are making a choice to believe. So throughout your day, a lot of the energy is pouring into your mental body, whether you're aware of it or not. A lot of it is quiet behind the scene mental, mental chatter, but yet it's having a profound effect on how you navigate your day, how you interact with others, how you plan for your future, and so on and so forth. So how do we get out of this vicious cycle? How do we get out of this avatar that really has no component of free will to it because we're truly being controlled by our subconscious programming and thoughts and limiting beliefs. How do we how do we escape this? It's like a it's like a dungeon or a dark room and the lights are off and we can't find the doorway out, right? And the scariest part about that is we don't even realize we're in that room, right? This is all happening like unconsciously. We just feel the effects of it because the energy like I said earlier, is being poured into these identities, meaning we physically start to feel tired, start to feel fatigued. We start to suffer the effects of aging. Maybe you start to get sick a little bit more, suffer a little bit of illness, aches, pains, all that kind of stuff, right? Those are all just the symptoms or the effects of energy being siphoned off through your subconscious, okay? So what we want to do is we want to make all of that conscious. Now, here's the thing. You don't need to really know or be able to pinpoint what these actual thoughts are or limiting beliefs that are controlling you. All you need to do is be aware of the fact that that's happening. And how can you tell that that's happening? Well, if you can observe your mind start to drift off into something that it perceives as a problem, maybe something that it perceives as a mistake that you've made in the past. Maybe it's it's something, you know, a situation or relationship or something with somebody those types of situations, when you start to observe where your mind is going, you start to realize that you are leaving the present moment. You are leaving alignment. You are no longer centered. You are off trying to solve some sort of perceived problem based on some sort of rule book that you either inherited or you were taught or told to believe when you were young. And it's false. But when you're living within that rule book, you are living with an aspect of your energy literally like fragmented off of you and placed into this identity. So we start to realize that, okay, this is happening throughout our day. When you, you know, you start to daydream a little bit, you start to feel a little bit of stress, maybe something triggers you. That's this identity rearing its head saying, okay, this is a familiar problem. Now I've got to go into fight or flight mode and figure out how to solve this. And all of your energy gets really pulled right out of center. Okay. And you can feel it and you start to get, you know, lower vibe. You start to feel a little depressed. You start to feel really stressed in those types of things. Okay. Even if you don't know exactly what those thoughts are, you bring enough awareness to the table in the moment to know that there's something here that is controlling me that is subconscious. Okay. And if you have the presence of mind and the awareness to do that, 
basically you're telling yourself, okay, I no longer feel centered. I no longer feel aligned. That's all it takes to be able to bring forward this consciousness to be able to change what you're thinking in the moment. Okay. And that looks like letting go of whatever your mind is trying to do and bringing it back in here breathing it into the heart space, breathing it into the solar plexus, breathing it into the root. Wherever you're guided to do, take some deep breaths, bring it back into the body and allow yourself to detach from whatever it is that this identity that is traumatized, this aspect of you is trying to pull your energy into. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to be like, no, I'm going to allow you to exist. I'm going to feel you but I'm going to take control over this conversation right now and bring my attention right back in. So your energy then that's starting to go out here comes right back in the center and you start to collect yourself. You start to feel, you know, if this identity rises up and you start to feel stressed or fight or flight, you allow yourself to feel that in the moment. You feel it in the moment, you breathe with that energy and you'll notice that your body will start to relax. Meaning that it is becoming a higher frequency aspect of you once again, right in the moment, right? Whereas a few moments ago, you started going off unchecked, these subconscious thoughts, your body started to feel small, started to feel tense. Maybe your blood pressure spiked a little bit, right? That's your energy getting pulled away. You made a choice in the moment to bring it back here. And now your energy is back. Your divine energy is flowing and your body is actually becoming, physically becoming a higher frequency aspect of you in the moment. And you feel it. Everything starts to let loose. You start to let go. You start to feel a little bit more confident. You're breathing into the solar plexus. You're feeling a little more anchored. You're breathing into the roots. You're feeling a little bit more love. You're connecting with your heart. Okay. And what you're doing is you are telling these wounded aspects of you, that it's okay, okay? I see you, but we are going to become someone different in this moment, okay? We don't have to align and become that lower frequency energy. We're gonna feel it and we're gonna alchemize it. That's how much power you have. I know so many people I work with, they wanna know the exact trauma, what caused it, what these thoughts are. They just have this overall feeling of just not feeling right, maybe not feeling well, not feeling energized. They're fatigued, they're tired, right? Ru ruling out any medical situations. We're talking energetic here. It's not so important to understand why that's happening. It's just important to know that it is happening and that you can make a choice in the moment to manifest a higher frequency version of you by simply putting your arm around this identity that wants to bring you down to its frequency and saying, I see you, it's okay. But I'm going to instead elevate you to a higher frequency by connecting in here, feeling that love, feeling that confidence, feeling that centeredness, that anchoredness, and allowing that energy to come back in and be reintegrated into the whole. Then you could release, you will be able to release whatever these thoughts are, whatever these beliefs are, you're gonna see them as just not real. You're gonna see them as no longer being able to control you. You're gonna see them as an opportunity to further get aligned and elevate your frequency. Now, when you do this, and you have this keen awareness throughout your day of when your frequency is starting to drop and you can bring it back in and restore it, you're going to find that your reality is going to start to change. You're no longer going to reflect a reality that's lower vibrational. You're going to start to see opportunity and start to manifest a reality that is higher vibrational. You are first becoming that frequency by connecting with it here and it's going to reflect naturally in your reality. So trust in the process, trust in your guidance, trust that you have the power, you have the ability to change any situation. Even when these traumas are triggered, you have the ability to, instead of giving your energy to this, 
and slowing down your vibration, you have the ability to reclaim that energy in the moment, just takes that conscious awareness and, and then just with intention, connect and elevate your vibration. And those triggers, those old identities, that voice, those thoughts, they're going to start to quiet down. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.